okay guys so the first thing you want to avoid doing is when you're creating shadows on the skin do not pick up color going down in a vertical line as in just taking slightly darker color as the skin color you were using as you just saw you know in the video so the reason here is this technique makes the skin look really ashy and lifeless so that is something i used to do a lot and i used to think to myself why the skin is not looking good or why does this look dead or lifeless so this is a reason why because we tend to use darker shade and we just go down we just think if we need a darker shade we just go down in the vertical line instead what you want to do is just pick up the skin color you were using and go in a diagonal line on the right hand side as i'm doing here on the video and pick up a color which is slightly darker than the skin color and then just start painting it over the skin now what it does it it eliminates any grays out of the color um, and also it doesn't make the skin look lifeless or ashy now that is the first tip okay guys so the next do not is or the next don't is to be stuck with one undertone color palette now i have seen a lot of people do do that and i used to do that a lot and so what here what i'm doing is um i am shading the whole face with the colors having the same undertone and i'm just going darker and darker on them thinking that you know it will create some depth and shadow on the face but that is not the case you guys you want to have some uh, you know you want to have different undertone colors while you're painting skin now i talk about this in the video on how to shade skin as well so there i also tell you guys to have colors from two different undertones so uh, one color palette might have orange undertone and one color palette might have pink undertone and this actually makes the whole face look lifelike and also do not ever forget to bring colors or take colors from the environment so let's just suppose the you are painting a portrait and there's a sky behind the portrait so just pick up that blue color and add it on skin on the skin and just here and there really lightly just to match it with the whole environment so that is really important to build up colors also make sure to add layers while you do that and build the colors in different layers so that you don't mess it up okay guys so the next thing is to never blend everything out on the face using the blending tool it just smoothens out everything and it does not look good it looks it doesn't have any you know depth no matter how um, dark shadows or dark colors you are adding to the face if you are blending everything out it it is just not gonna look good and lifelike or realistic so the key here is to add colors without blending those now i do have a video on how to blend colors without using the blending tool that is a really good video and that is going to just explain you how to do that now while you're painting skin this is really important to avoid using blending tool and i have like completely stopped using blending tool while i'm shading skin so what i basically do is i just uh, make sure that i'm lightly painting over the skin and putting as less pressure as i possibly could uh, just so that i can avoid using blending tool also keep some harsh edges on the face as you can see here on the nose there is a harsh line um, which is creating this like cute button nose kind of thing and also uh, i'll be adding some harsh lines on the crease of the eyes just to make it look more realistic and if if you blend that all out it just doesn't look good it doesn't look realistic at all so the key here is the tip here is to keep some harsh edges on the face and to avoid using the blending tool okay so the next 
do not or don't is the blush now what i used to do is i, I would just put this little, little circle on the cheeks and i would just blend it out with a blending tool now this is not the right way of doing this this does not look good it is just gonna make your portrait look like a clown so what you want to basically do is again you want to make sure you're avoiding the use of the blending tool so what you want to do is you just pick up the airbrush soft airbrush and lightly just go over the cheeks also lightly over the nose as well and just the tiniest bit of it over the forehead because yeah that is how it is supposed to be when you're blushing um uh, in real life when you're blushing you're not just having that pink color on your cheeks only you have that pink color a little bit on your nose a little bit on your forehead as well so that's how we bring out the life um, for the portrait of your painting or just to make it look more realistic so the next don't is highlighting under the eyes now i'm not saying you should not highlight under the eyes but what i'm saying is what i used to do is i would just put this little patch under the eyes for with the highlighting color and i would just pick up blending tool and blend it all out as if i'm like doing my makeup and you know putting concealer under my eyes like that so that is not how you should do it again just a white using the blending tool and the way we were putting the blush just take that lighter color uh, with which you want to highlight under the eyes and just go under the eyes with little pressure on the screen and you're gonna get great results out of it also i only highlight under the eyes and on the rest of the face what i do is i pick up a slightly darker color then the skin color and i would just go over that highlighted skin and would just calm it down a little bit as you can see the forehead is shining too much the bridge of the nose is shining too much so i would just paint this color over those areas just to calm them down a little bit okay guys so the next tip is for highlighting so what i used to do is i would just put this bunch of color on the skin where i think i should be highlighting the skin and i would just go ahead and use the blending tool and i would just blend it all out now there is nothing wrong in that and that actually doesn't look that bad at all but this technique um compared to the one that i use these days is actually not good so what you want to do is again you want to make sure you are not using blending tool again just pick up your soft airbrush and put the highlight really lightly wherever you want to put it now you want to make sure you're putting really low pressure when you're doing that and you want to build up the color um, to your likings and yeah you want to just slightly uh, build up the color then what you want to do is just decrease the size of the brush and start creating little dots here and there where you have put the highlights now the reason being is when our skin naturally you know shines uh, because of the oils on the skin we have these little dots because of the pores that we have on our face so the oil comes out of those pores creating those little dot effect so that is the reason why obviously we are not uh, we do not want to make our portrait look oily at all but yeah to just make it look realistic you want to do that just start creating little dots here and there near the highlight and that is just going to give you amazing amazing result and that is just going to make your portrait look much more realistic than it already is okay so the next tip works if you have the skin texture brush you can completely avoid this step but actually this adds a little bit of realism when you're painting skin so i do have a video on free procreate brushes on my channel you might want to check that out and you will find this brush set out in that video and i will link that video down in the description so whenever you are adding skin texture using this brush what you want to make sure is you are doing that using the color you initially painted the whole skin with and never 
use any darker color when you're doing so because it is just gonna make the whole skin look dull and lifeless okay guys so this next step is related to the outlines of the face so what you want to do is you want to pick a blending tool and you want to go over those outlines really really lightly and so the key here is do not blend them out completely because we don't want that and also you want to make sure that they are not looking harsh so that is the key here now what i have seen people doing is they either completely erase everything out every outline out of the face and or they just you know make those outlines look dark maybe they you know color it color their outlines with a black color or maybe some other dark color and that does not look good at all so that is a tip right there and that actually makes a huge difference while you're painting a portrait so that is it for today's video you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i know there was actually not a huge difference between the don'ts and the dudes but still i tried my best to give you all the tricks and tips that i use on a regular basis when i am painting a portrait and so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and thursday and i will see you guys the next time